In this video, we're going to talk about the best food in Japan. I talked about Japan a little bit in the past few videos, and I talked about some of the great foods that you have to try in Japan. But if you're specifically looking for food that you have to try in Japan, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a few things that you have to try for food-wise in Japan and just the best food that there is in Japan. Um, one thing that they obviously make really well in Japan is their sushi. Their sushi is super, super good. They have one of my favorite kind of sushi restaurants to go to is uh, they're actually called Sushi Gurans. And it's cool because it's like the chefs are constantly making different sushi dishes and you can order specific sushi dishes and sometimes they have like a sushi train when you order it the train comes out and brings it to your stop and you pick it up but on a sushi go round it's kind of like a merry-go-round but with sushi so imagine a conveyor belt going on the outskirts almost like a train around the whole restaurant it's going by all the tables and there's all these different dishes with different colored plates. And as the sushi on the plates goes around, you'll know by a, on a big board, it's a, this is one, this, this sushi is maybe 100 yen, this one's 200, this is 400, 300. And you're not gonna be able to know about every type of sushi, but the plates, say you have a blue plate, that might be 100 yen, you might have a red plate, that's 200 yen. So you'll know how much you're spending and how many pieces of sushi you can get. Each plate generally had about four pieces of sushi or a big piece of sashimi or little desserts or different things. But as the sushi is coming around, you can look at all the different types and be like, hmm, that one looks really good. And then you just grab the plate, put it down, eat the sushi, you know, dip it in soy sauce, whatever it is. And then you can move right on next to the next piece. Maybe you're sharing sushi with one of your friends and you guys try this type of sushi and this type of sushi. And if they don't have the type of sushi that you want on the conveyor belt, you can just order it up and you know one of the waitresses or waiters will bring it right up to you. Um, so their sushi is really good. You definitely have to try that. Their, their ramen, oh my gosh, the ramen is so good. Me and my brother actually had ramen here in Israel. No offense to Israel, but we went to this ramen joint. It wasn't that great. It was kind of grainy. The soup wasn't made too well. Um, maybe I'm just biased toward Japan, but like when we were there, I mean, I speak enough Japanese to understand when someone's speaking or not speaking Japanese. And the people there were supposed to be Japanese, but they were definitely Chinese people making Japanese sushi. Because um, I understand a little bit of Chinese, much more Japanese, but like, you know, basic yes, no, and you know, how are you, what not. So I could, I could kind of tell that they were speaking Chinese and or some dialect of it and they the food just was good but it was nothing like the ramen in japan you have to try the ramen in japan it's super good super delicious highly recommend it um it's one thing you have to try tons of different types it's cool they have like little vending machines where like you go to a lot of ramen shops and you can look at all the cool different you know ramen types you can get and all the different add-ons different size bowl and you just press all these buttons you pay for it, a little ticket comes out, you give it to the guy at the counter, he, you know, he whips up your sushi, makes it, and brings it to you. Sometimes they have little like clothes and booths so you can eat your sushi in peace and not be annoyed by any other people and just relax and feel like you know, you're kind of in your own world and not be distracted by other people. Um, with sushi, not sushi, ramen. Ramen is definitely um, number two on the list. You have to try ramen. And number three on the list, which a lot of people don't know is a big dish in Japan, is curry. A lot of people think curry, oh, India, India, you know, they hear curry, so that's India. No, the Middle East, um, Southeast Asia, and Northeast Asia have curry. Like a lot of places around Asia serve curry. It's a pretty common uh, dish. It is made completely different in every, everywhere you go. There's um, the actual mix for curry, if you ever make it from scratch. Uh, the curry powder is a mixture of like four, three to like seven spices, depending on how you make it. Um, it's not like its own spice. It's a mixture of like turmeric and cumin and a couple, a couple of their different spices and whatnot. Um, but when you mix it all, once you mix it all together, uh, you might use you know coconut cream. And anyway, I don't want to get into making a recipe on curry, but um, when you have curry in Japan, it's super good. 
They have different spicy levels. And if you can go to Coco's Curry, Coco's Curry is really cool. I know I talked about this in what it's like living in Japan video, but um, they have levels one through 10. So levels one through 10 curry is super good um, because you can choose your spiciness level. You could have a spiciness level of one, two, all the way through 10. I can personally eat a six, maybe a five. My friend Seth can eat a 10. He has a little bit higher tolerance to spicy foods. I've tried to build up mine with some, uh, some, some red sauce you put on your food and it, it's decently spicy. The more you add, the more custom you get to the spicy food. Anyway, um, yeah, curry is definitely a big dish you have to have. Oh, and I didn't mention this in the other video, but you guys have to try mochi. Mochi is so, so good. It's definitely a little dessert, it's kind of sweet, but mochi is like, it's like rice, steamed rice, chewy cakes. It's like in between jello and doughy, chewiness and delicious, amazing, so good, so, so, so good. There's two types, generally, there's kind of two types, basically two types. There's the one where it's filled, like this big, it's like a little cake, and it's filled with maybe bean paste or some other kind of paste. I personally make them with Nutella or chocolate or different stuff when I make mochi, but um, they also have mochi on a stick. You generally get these three little balls of mochi on a stick and then that's dipped in like a sweet teriyaki or a sweet, um, it's like a caramelized kind of sauce. It's almost like a caramel that you're having with. So, so, so. Generally you can get them for 200 yen, maybe at a local store, Family Mart or one of their uh, convenience stores and just chew them together. Street food, a lot of places have them. A lot of times they have different flavors, maybe they might put on sesame seeds on them or different things. But yeah, mochi, mochi is definitely one of the foods you have to try. Um, I think that's, that's most everything that I can think of that should come, you know, come straight to the mind. But if there's any other foods that you want me to talk about when it comes to the best foods to try in Japan, just let me know. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, just subscribe, hit that bell icon, and you can see more videos on Japan. Otherwise, guys, peace out. Take care. Have a great day.